Yeah, hi there. It's Dimitri. Sorry I had to leave such a rushed message with you uh, when we uh, met the other day. I just want to quickly give you your, uh, my phone number, and I had to get the heck out of the area. In any event, I figure I'd better leave you a more detailed message um, and explain why I approached you. I am single. I have no trouble meeting women. I mean, women approach me six, seven times a day. But I'm very particular about what I like. You're extremely elegant. I couldn't take my eyes off of you. And your friends were very jealous. Even if they say they weren't, they were envious of the fact that uh, I approached you and I was very taken by you. Elegant women are very rare. I'm Greek and I'm very particular about what I like. So I'm giving you an opportunity here. I don't know if you pick up the messages on the weekend, but I'm, I'm working on a movie script, so I'm pretty much around all weekend doing that. I left you my number, 416-918-4. This looks like a landline, and if it is, you may not get the message till Monday, but when you do, call me, and then we'll get together for coffee and chat and uh, let the romance begin. You look very taken aback by my approach, and I hope that isn't timidness. I hope it was just a little bit of uh, shock at being approached so um, uh, directly. Uh, because I don't really date timid women. Because I'm a very direct, very passionate, very assertive man. And I want a woman who's very independent and uh, strong. So uh, anyway, we'll talk about that. But I just wanted to formally introduce myself. Now I have. I leave the ball in your court. You call me as soon as you uh, have the courage to. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hi there. It's Dimitri calling again, the guy from the street. I left you a message several days ago. You said you were interested. Now, here's the way I work. I don't like leaving second messages, but I like you. You're a very elegant woman. You're very attractive. But, you know, I don't play that game. I know your friends tell you not to return calls. You're playing games like you see on stupid TV shows. So here's how it's going to work. It is now 4.30 on Wednesday. Now, I'll assume, I'll assume that you've already left work because, you know, some people leave early. And I'll grant you that. But if I do not receive a phone call back from you by 3 o'clock Thursday afternoon, I'm no longer interested, and you can erase my number. I don't play games like that. I'm completely single. I'm very intelligent. I'm great in bed. I make great money. Believe it or not, I'm a complete catch. I've only been single four months. I had a long-distance relationship. You know, when a year, it's very tough to maintain it like that, and it didn't work out. There's nothing wrong with me. Matter of fact, I'm one of the few men in the city that has nothing wrong with him. So I'm giving you that 3 o'clock deadline. If I don't hear from you, you lose my number. I'm erasing yours right now, so you won't be hearing back from me. So that's it. 3 o'clock tomorrow, or you can just completely forget it. Now, I understand if you've got other issues, like maybe you're not playing games, maybe you've had... I don't know, maybe you were abused in childhood. Maybe your mother has cancer, you're going to chemo. Maybe you're just a person who's extremely frightened or has um, has an anxiety disorder. Maybe you're on uh, some medication for that. I don't know. There could be another issue that I'm not aware of. But nobody says, call me, hands a person a business card, and then doesn't return calls. It's extremely passive-aggressive. You should actually look that up, passive-aggressive personality disorder. And you let me know if, if you've got issues, psychological issues, if you're on any sort of medication for anxiety or depression, I'm not interested. Okay? But if you're psychologically normal and you haven't called me because there's been some horrible thing that's happened in your life which prevented you, that's fine. But otherwise, don't call me. Okay? Bye. Okay, bye. Click.